This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back to the channel. This video, we're looking at granite. Now, granite has certain characteristics that make it uh, special. It make it cool to find. And we do find it on the Earth's surface. And that gives us an idea of what that area has gone through geologically through time because granite only forms a certain way and the certain mixtures can give you an idea of the environment where granite was formed and the time it took to form that piece of granite. So to begin with the basics, granite is an intrusive igneous rock, it's plutonic. It forms from cooling magma very slowly, uh, deep in the earth in very warm, hot environments. So the crystals have time, the minerals have time to arrange themselves and become solid over a long time and arrange themselves into different patterns and different matrices that create different colors, and different textures of the granite. Now granite is a general term for these rocks that have these certain characteristics. So other rocks under this umbrella term of granite are granodiorite or diorite and pyrrolite. Those are the main rocks. Now there are diorites and gabbros that are similar, but they are not under the granite umbrella. Now granite is around 2.7 to 2.8 grams per centimeter cube density. It is lighter in color generally compared to more intermediate or mafic igneous rocks. It is termed felsic, which means it has a lot more silica in the composition than intermediate or mafic. And it, that means it has more aluminum, more silica, and more fels, feldspar in the, the mineral composition, creating the texture and the color and the characteristics. So it's a coarse, medium to very coarse rock in terms of texture. And that's because the large crystals, the large crystals are called uh, phenocrysts. And it's prophoretic, which means that there's large crystals in and amongst the smaller crystal matrix. You can see them with your naked eye. You don't need a microscope to see them, which perhaps more extrusive igneous rocks that come from lava erupting on the surface, uh, like a uh, basalt, for example, has much smaller crystallization or minerals in the matrix. You can't see the individual crystals. So there are certain areas where granite is formed now it's formed closer to the surface, so around two kilometers under the surface to the, towards the surface. And that is because it contains certain elements and minerals that are lighter, that are more abundant towards the upper mantle in the lithosphere and the, and the, the crust towards the surface. Elements like silica, oxygen, sodium, calcium, the more heavier iron and magnesium, which are more mafic, they are deeper down. So when the magma is up close to the surface, it's going to incorporate the rock and melt the rock. And that's going to generate more granitic and felsic magma going to form and cool down eventually to form the granite rock type. So the locations are going to be from magma plumes and deer piers that are going to rise up and incorporate and assimilate more of those elements under the crust into the magma all right to get some uh magma fractionization or how to break down the magma based on the density of the minerals and the elements whereby the heavy elements will be down towards the lower end of the magma chamber or the pool of magma and the lighter uh, elements will rise to the top, ones like silica, oxygen, calcium, and, and sodium. Uh, they will be up the top and they will form more of the granite or felsic magnets. We can also form this through subduction, through the melting of uh, conical plates in subduction zones uh, with the addition of water, all right, to lower the temperature. You can also have this through collision, through uh, continents colliding and, and the pressure and the melting under orogeny belts like the Himalayas, you might get a section of granite formed. But most of the mountain belts, mountain ranges on the surface, on the continents, do have a large granite composition that they're made of, like the Sierra Nevadas in California, pretty much all granite 
Uh, those mountains are made of granite, which is pretty cool. So you have this really awesome rock that you find on the surface. It will tell you a lot about the history of the area, the depth of the formation, the perhaps the mountain belt that used to be there, or why this granite is on the surface through uplift, through tectonics, maybe through erosion. And the beautiful colors can dictate and the size of the, uh, the crystals and minerals can dictate uh, the formation and the addition of different minerals. And this is a beautiful rock that is a staple in geology.